Y'all had a good day? Yeah. Good. Did you? Uh, my day has been the shit, man. Goddess Energy, what's up? Love Niche, what up? What is one thing I did to appreciate myself today? Uh, hmm. One thing I did, you know, I don't think I did. I usually do do something. I ain't did nothing yet to appreciate myself today. Besides, like, self, you know, like, brief self-care shit I did this morning. But outside of that, that's been it so far today. I've been focused and knocking out some other shit, but I'm definitely going to trust me. I don't forget about me. Uh, Somebody said I'm doing it right now. Um, Yeah, I, I do agree. I am doing it right now, but... I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I got a lot of kids. I just want to get old as fuck. That's all. That's what it's really about. And when I do start, like, fucking again and fucking a lot, you know, I want to, I want to, yeah. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna keep it all the way real with y'all. I have experienced wise me. I have experienced rich me. I've always experienced handsome me. But I have never, ever experienced fit, rich wealthy and wise me so two of the main re- three of the main reasons is one i want to get old and i feel like taking better care of myself is gonna help me get old um i got way too many kids to to be dying prematurely that's just totally irresponsible and unfair of me to know i'm making poor decisions in terms of my body and i got all them fucking kids and then lastly i just have never experienced myself fit amongst all the other things that i already am you feel me? And I tell you all the time, y'all, like, for me, life is all about experiences. So to be genuine with you, like, it ain't even so much, like, you know, health is wealth. It's just like, shit, like, bro, we never did that. Let's try that shit out. Let's be super disciplined real quick while we 33. And let's see what that shit hitting for to be, like, as handsome as you been. With that hair down to your waist and that nice jawline and the perfect teeth you was born with. And that brilliant mind of yours. And that, that, that consistency and that work ethic. And then we're going we gonna to wrap that shit up in a body that just look, you feel me, handmade. Yeah, so I ain't going to lie. That's really what, that's that's like the top three, four reasons is I've never had this experience. So I told myself recently, like, before I die, and because I never know, we never know when we dying, like, I don't fuck around. Like, my goals and my visions, y'all, I don't fuck around because I don't know when I'm dying. Like, I tell everybody, like, I live like a motherfucker that know they're going to die. A lot of y'all, not y'all per se, personally, but a lot of y'all don't understand that concept. You live like a motherfucker that got 200 years. You live like a motherfucker that know they got 80, 80, 100 more months. Nah, I live like somebody that know, like, today could be it, bro. So we're not going to put that shit off. We're not going to procrastinate. And I still procrastinate at times. Like, we are, I ain't perfect at by a long shot, but... We're not going to bullshit, nigga. If this if is what we said we're doing, we're going. And we're going to go all the way. We're not going to have, like, you feel me? We don't have ass. We hold ass. So, in terms of, like, appreciating myself today, I haven't done anything out of the norm. But, you know, the norm, I, I, I rode, like, 20 miles on my bike today like I've been doing. I went to the gym, the outside gym. And then when I get out of this sauna, I'm going to go have me a workout in my in, in my in-home gym. Um. Uh, and yeah, too, you know, something, something else I, I was saying the other day, y'all, is like, these days I, I eat like I actually love myself. And I know a lot of people may not grasp that concept right now, but a lot of us, we don't do nothing in love. A lot of what we do on the day-to-day is not with love. You feel me? Like, you don't, you don't manage your time like you love yourself. You don't redirect your, your mentality or your attention like you love yourself. You feel me? I know about me, like, nigga, I, sometimes I don't eat like a nigga that loves themselves. So that's like the standard that I move with now and checking myself like, bro, you be hollering about every family needs self-love, my nigga, but that shit that you finna eat and then the fact that you're going to eat it and then not produce any movement behind it, that is the complete, that is a, like a complete conflict of this shit that you run around saying and it's like love, love, love. So yeah, that, that's why I say the answer to, the, to like genuinely answer the question, I mean, I do something for myself every day, like every day I'm ever evolving. Every day I'm working on something. Every day I'm trying to get better. Every day I'm trying to reach a level of mastery. 
Like I was just telling them yesterday in our coaching call, uh, food and sex were the last two things that I struggle with. I've either got a grip on it or I've mastered anything else that I've come across in my 33 years. I move really fast. I'm a fast learner, fast mover. I just, when I want some shit, I jump on it and go. But food and sex has always been like the top two things that, uh, that held me back. You feel me? So shout out to the women in my life or some of the women that I've come across in my life. Because one of them genuinely helped me like master my urgencies with sex and to be able to turn it down or to take that, harness that energy and put it into other shit. So yeah, like y'all was just telling one of my folks on Sunday, like I'm reaching, um, I'm reaching a level of, a level of mastery because the things that I had on my list from years ago and the things right now that I said I want to be better at or that I suck at or that I can't, I couldn't juggle. You feel me? I'm I'm juggling the hell out of them motherfuckers these days. God God is catered. No, I, I agree. Balance is key for sure. Yo, that's why I say like I don't preach perfection. Never will. Cause I'm honest enough to tell y'all that I am going I like I've I am going to master the shit that I'm struggling with, and then I'm gonna have an intentional time where I I I I dealt I dealt how they say it dibble and dabble in my lower self. You feel me? So I don't want none of y'all to think like niggas just Mr. Miyagi and I'm going to do yoga all day. Like, nah, it, there comes a time where you should be intentional about your nigga shit. But because a lot of you guys don't take the time to really assess yourself, you never really can find the intentionalism behind nigga shit because it's already just a part of your everyday life. So you never really, how to say it, like a lot of y'all really don't even deserve the moves and the lives that y'all trying to live. Y'all discipline ain't up to par. Y'all consistency ain't up to par. Dedication, plan of action, foresight, none of that is up to par. You feel me? You really be trying to, like, take part in a life that you literally don't deserve, which is why you only get temporary flashes of the life that you actually want. Please hear what I'm saying, y'all. Like, a lot of y'all, you only get temporary flashes of the life that you actually want. I'm like, I'm going to die this way. I'm going to die, like, that's something I pride myself on. When I be waking up in the morning, it don't be no pressure. Nigga don't be stressing. Nigga don't be worried. Nigga don't have no sense of urgency that they don't put on themselves. Like, the outside world don't make me get up and do shit. The outside world don't make me get up. I don't feel obligated to, like, wake my body up at a certain amount of time so I can go be all I can be for another person. I do that shit for myself. So, like I say this all the time, y'all. A lot of niggas gonna ball for a season. Some niggas gonna ball for a lifetime. I'm trying to ball for a lifetime. You feel me? So because I'm trying to ball for a lifetime, I don't partake in a lot of the things that other people do. Like, I don't have the cars y'all have. I don't have the fun y'all have. I don't I, I don't be nowhere where it's lit. I don't, you know, I don't have none of that. But when I want a party, like, we party for real. Like, we celebrate our birthdays a month at a time. Or, you feel me, we gonna have 50 people come to the crib and throw a three-day slumber party slash retreat to celebrate our existence. We're not just going to go to our favorite restaurant, get a steak and record it on camera and have those two minutes of, 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 of litness. You feel me? And then Monday we back to the plantation. That's not the life I want. So I have to, um, I have to like, you know, my discipline got to be, got to be to a certain place. Cause I don't, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to temporarily live y'all. I want to do that shit for a living. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I still ain't there yet. I still be grinding like a motherfucker, but I'm gonna get there. I know I'm gonna get there because, like, I'm already there. I'm not fully there, but we already there. Most of the time, I don't know what day it is. Most of the time, I don't know what time it is. Most of the time, like, I have no idea what's taking place in the world because I created my own world. Like, I carved out pieces of land in this place called America. And I invested a whole lot into my sanctuary. So I don't really have to go nowhere for the shit to be lit. I send motherfuckers the address and security go pick them up and they sign NDA, NDAs and everybody be on the same page and we be lit right here in the comfort of our home. 222, what up, bro? So, and again, y'all, not not saying anything is wrong with the other way. I'm just saying in my world, in my perspective, like, who, who want to feel good every, every three months? Like, y'all, who the fuck, who the fuck one of y'all along here was born... Or or became an adult and was like, man, boy, I can't wait to vacation only twice a year for the next 50 years of my... 
nobody ever. Nobody ever fucking said that in their whole existence. Yeah, that ain't how we functioning. Nigga, I live. I live for a living and I want to continue to live for a living. So I got to make certain sacrifices. I got to like pack it up and go in the house on everybody having fun. Like shit, hey, 222 on here right now. They they like, that's family for real. They'll tell you I don't own a car. This like the real part. Niggas will tell you I don't even own a car. But you know what else they'll tell you? Bro, that nigga got houses big enough that pff, you can get lost in the motherfuckers. That nigga got land big enough that you could put 10 football fields out there and just Willy Wonk and the ch- chocolate factory your existence for the rest of your days because this motherfucker done carved out so much land in this shit called America. You feel me? So it's that's why I say ne- neither perspective is wrong. It's just about what you want. I know what I want. Like, man, I ain't trying to get no $400,000 car to... to, to uh. To post on the gram to like remind niggas of why they can't sit with me because we got faster cars. Nah, like, nigga, I got my own world. I got my own fruit in the backyard. I got my own vegetables. Like, when you pull up to my Georgia crib, way before you get to my front door, you literally can see a sign, a custom made graffiti sign that says, Welcome to Graceland. When you pull up to my Georgia crib, you're going to know you at my house because we literally are all over the windows. We got custom windows with all our throwback pictures, current pictures, babies, baby moms, children, everybody. When you pull up to Tampa, you're going to know you here because security outside, you're going to see two to three Grace Private Security vehicles in the yard. And you're going to see somebody with a Grace Private Security shirt on with a pistol that's greeting you with love and respect. Being like, what's up? What you need? Or why are you here? Or did he, did he, does he know you're coming? Um, not even the materialism, y'all, just real shit, like, y'all, that's when I say, when I be talking about getting money, it's so much deeper than, and hey, thank y'all to everybody showing love, uh, y'all, my hand's stuck in it, so I can't even, like, y'all comments moving fast, I can't even scroll down, Paper J, you said, hey, nigga, you helped me get my first poly, rich nigga shit, oh, Lord, Paper J, salute, bro, salute, that's not something I teach on, bro, I'm, I don't know, but, I'm I'm glad whatever you took from me, bro, was able to help you on your journey. But uh but yeah, y'all look, it go deeper. So let let's go deeper real quick, right? Because when people be thinking about money, y'all typically think materials. Hey, drop a one. Drop a one. If you've experienced those mornings as a kid when your mama was cussing you out and waking you up and telling you better not miss that bus or she gonna whoop your ass. Drop a one if you if you dealt with unnecessary, unsolicited pressure or bullying or trauma, you feel me, from the school you went to, from the school that you ain't even have no choice, like you was just subjected to the, and, and had to conform to their way of doing things because that's what mama lived at and that's what school district you was in. Y'all, this is shit I be talking about when I talk about getting money. Like, I've never cursed my children out waking them up. I've always woke them up with love. Even if I'm talking shit about, hey, y'all need to clean this motherfucker up, like, I'm waking them up with love. I know to a lot of y'all that shit might seem may seem minute, but a lot of you don't understand the long term effects that you that it has on your subconscious and your psyche, because you literally were forced to break your sleep and treat it like a motherfucking slave, and then you were threatened to get your ass beat if you did not make it to this bullshit ass school that you was forced to go to. That's what money has done for me. It's put me in a place where like we taking it easy, we moving slow, we homeschooling. I retired my mama at twenty seven. So what I'm not able to teach, my mama teach my kids Monday through Friday. Money money was able to afford me to get one of my primary cribs that I'm in right now and get my mama a crib on the same street two doors down. Do you understand, like, the safety net and the peace and the love and the nurturing that all my children experience? Because, like, they don't have a rush lifestyle. They, they, they're not raised by somebody who function with a scarcity mindset or... I'm I'm not forcing them into a system that failed me. That's only going to eat them alive. Just for what? You feel me? So again, I know like most people be thinking the money. Y'all be thinking material, man. I've been telling you for the longest. Money in America going to get you a level of freedom. Money in America going to get your fucking time back. Nigga, that's what I want. I want my time back. Y'all, we, we went to that. For anybody, if you didn't drop out, y'all, we gave them bitches 12 years of our lives. Bro, I need my time back. I... Listen, ladies, y'all ain't giving no nigga 12 years. Y'all ain't giving no nigga 12 years. 
and, and he failed you. Nah. But our parents, you know, and, and we, we could forgive them. I ain't harping on them, but a lot of our parents didn't know better. So they did that. They did exactly that. They forced us into that system for 12 years, and that bitch been failed them. That bitch been failed their mamas and daddies. We was the third generation that came up out that much, and it failed. Listen, that bitch failed us too. You feel me? So, like, for me, that's one of the, the, the dope parts about having money is being able to take over the educational aspect for my children. Being able to make sure, like, they're, they're, they're getting their education from a place of genuineness and love and, 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 and from a nurturing standpoint. Like, I know a lot of y'all don't want to come to grips with this, but y'all children's educators, grandparents used to hang y'all grandparents. This real spill, y'all know, like, we only 50, 60 years out of segregation. Maybe I think maybe 70 now, I'm not for sure, but y'all, that shit ain't dead. Y'all do know that, like, nigga, some, our, the principals that be in these schools that we subjecting our babies to go to, they fucking parents, like, wanted our parents dead. They didn't fuck with us. So that's why I say shit like, I need that education to come from a genuine place. I need I I need that redirection and that chastising to come from a genuine place. I need you to be on my kid's ass because you really want them to win. Not because like it irks your motherfucking soul that they little black asses is in your class to begin with. And I'm not saying that's everywhere, but I'm just telling you. That's reality, y'all. Like you could turn a blind eye to that shit if you want to, but Nigga, some of them janitors and them old school teachers who been in that bitch 40 years, nigga was throwing rocks at your people 50 years ago. So, yeah, man, that's 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 what money is for me. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, it's definitely going to get you materials for sure. But, y'all, it's, it's so much other shit we could do with it, man. We get our experiences. We go travel. Um, I tell you guys all the time, man, traveling opens up your subconscious. Drop a one if y'all know what I mean. I know some of y'all get it. My nigga, I don't care if you broke, bro. Take a bus ride. Take a bus ride, put some headphones on and get you a window seat. You feel me? If you can afford a plane, take a plane ride. Get you a window seat, man. And, just, and uh, detach from the world and allow your thoughts to flow. That's money, you feel me? That's rich to me. Rich is like, bro, you know I got time to silence out the world. You know I don't got to run nowhere today. You know I'm really finna sit still as fuck today and I'm finna enjoy my thoughts. I'm finna nurture my inner child. I'm finna ask myself why I be doing the cool shit I do, why I do the stupid shit I do. I'm finna laugh at my own jokes. I'm finna do it. Man, I be doing all that. Shit, I'm doing it now. Like, I'm literally in my room, sitting in my sauna suit. And I don't know where everybody at, but I know I'm, I'm, I'm in my sanctuary right now. I'm in my favorite place to be in my crib, in my big-ass room, by my lonesome. Sweating my ass off. So, yeah. Um, to answer, go back to the original question, man. I've done a lot for myself today. But those, those are some of the biggest things. Yeah, man, listen, y'all. I can't stress to y'all enough, man. And this, this, this existence is real short. My nigga, please put yourself in a position to do what you want to do while you're here. Please put yourself in a position to... Actually spend time with yourself while you here. Y'all on here right now, look, ladies, it's some of y'all that don't know how, that don't know how to do anything but be a mom. So I don't want that for you. And it ain't my business per se, like saying that my opinion really matter, but baby, I don't want that for you. I know you a mom. I know you dope, but there's so much other shit that you that you can conquer and that's gonna make you feel alive on this planet besides like, oh, I I'm, I'm a good mama. I'm a good daddy. I I was a hard working man. I got my check. I was committed. I took it home every week. And, you know, I died. I ain't really get shit because I gave everything I had to everybody else. Money and time. But, nah, fuck that, nigga. Like, come on, bro. What you going to do for you? You know, at some point, bro, you got to put down being a dad, being a husband, being a brother, being a son. And just ask you, like, who the fuck are you to you? Have you satisfied yourself, my nigga? While you saving the world, while you working your bones and... You feel me? Like, y'all taking couple pictures and y'all doing y'all two vacations a year and this, that, and the third. My nigga, who are you? A lot of people don't know that. Feel me? Niggas get lost in the sauce. I've done it. Niggas get lost in the sauce trying to be providers, trying to be protectors, trying to be preachers. Not even realizing, bro, like, you the alpha and omega for your whole foundation. My nigga, if you crash out, sis, if you crash out, everybody gonna crash. You feel me? So, definitely urge you. Like, I'm gonna say it again, y'all. This existence 
is short. It's so short. I know I'm not the only nigga that look up and be like, damn, I'm 33 already? Fuck. Nigga, how? Where did my 20s go? Already? You feel me? And, and, and according to America, statistical life expectancy in this country is 72 and a half. Y'all, a lot of us halfway there. You know, they, they say like pretty much your roller coaster peaks between like 33 and 40, and after 40, your decline begins. Y'all, like some of us finna meet our decline. You know, some of our parents, like statistically, they're not gonna be here in 20 years. They're not gonna be here in 15 years. Go get some fucking experiences, please. I know you niggas wanna be hustler of the year. I know you wanna be the best entrepreneur. I know you want to hold the crown as a nigga that made the most money and all that shit. Fuck all that. Bitch, I was happy. I be doing what I want to do. I be riding my mountain bike in the middle of the street with no hands, with my headphones on, ignoring the horns and traffic and just being a big fucking kid three o'clock in the afternoon. I be at my Georgia crib like really deer watching. I just have certain times where I go out and make videos of the chipmunks and the rabbits and the deers and the turkeys and everything else that be wandering around my yard. Nah, like, go live, bro. Sus, please. I promise you, this shit is so short. I ain't got to tell you. You already know. I know you done had that moment when you looked at me like, damn, Grandma 80 already? Yeah, she's 80, baby. She done been around the sun 80 motherfucking times. You done been around 33. Tighten up. Have some fun. Go live a little. I'm going to say what I always tell, tell y'all. Attach yourself to the experiences in life. That good and bad shit is temporary. It's going to come and it's going to go. But them experiences, them experiences is what you take with you. The experience, the intellectual property from the experience is the wisdom and the information that you can give to others around you that you claim to love so they can have an even smoother tra transition in yourself. But I tell y'all, man, don't, don't get caught up on the good nor the bad. Don't get caught up on either. They both temporary. That amazing feeling you had. Listen, how many of y'all had a dope-ass Sunday and then woke up today and was like, it's a new day, good or bad, but that feeling is gone. It's real life. That bullshit that's going to happen to you tomorrow morning, nigga, that shit temporary as well. You feel me? Ta attach yourself to the experiences and live in the current. I tell y'all all the time, a lot of y'all can't enjoy right now. It's Monday, 7.04 p.m., but you don't even have the, you're not, you're not even in a space to be receptive to how beautiful it is to be alive, period, at 7.04 p.m. Eastern on a Monday because you caught up in some sucker shit that happened to you last month, last week, last night. Or some of y'all so overly invested in the future that you're not even certain of that you can't enjoy right now because you too worried about Friday. Not even knowing, my nigga, you could fuck around and die on Thursday. Then what? There's some of y'all right now that's worrying about a bill that's coming up. You worrying about some adversity that's headed your way. You worrying about a lot of... Man, you breathing right now, my nigga. Do something with that. You feel me? We can't predict the future. I, 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 I don't know if the people really finna come possess your shit on Sunday. I don't know if your whole business gonna crash if you don't make two more sales before Thursday. What I do know, though, is you alive at 7.05 p.m. because you're on my fucking live. So in this moment in the current while you alive, you should go do some dope shit with it. You should be appreciative. You should practice gratitude. I say this all the time, y'all. I guarantee you, somebody made plans last night. Somebody out there made plans. They didn't wake up today. Or they woke up today and went to the store and got T-boned. They woke up today and had a fucking heart attack. They woke up today and a nigga decided to kill them because he didn't have what he had and he wanted to take it. Nah, man. Nigga, I'm living for right now. I'm in the moment. I'm not caught up on yesterday. I'm not worrying about tomorrow. All I know is I'm in this bitch right now at 33 years old at 7.05 p.m. Eastern on a Monday evening. And I'm going to enjoy this bitch to the fullest. I'm going to speak life. I'm going to pop my shit. I'm going to affirm myself. I'm going to be hella grateful. And I'm going to enjoy the fuck out of these moments. Because I may not get another Monday, 7.05 p.m. I may not. And because I'm aware of that, you feel me? I tell everybody, nigga, I'm going to die happy, not perfect. We cool on perfection. Guarantee you we die happy, though. Guarantee you, like, if there's any moment of pause and you able to be like, what was your energy like, my son, when you checked out that bitch? Smiling. Nigga had just got done doing some godly slash nigga shit. Was walking in my truth. 
walking in my confidence, being proud of the man that I am at 33. Uh-huh. What's, nigga, what you was doing? You know what I was doing. You say you know everything, motherfucker. You know what I was doing. What you been doing? You know how I'm coming. Gratitude over attitude. But, uh, yeah, to the people asking, so when I work out, I wear a sauna suit. But I took it a step further and went and got me a portable sauna. So what y'all see me sitting in right now is an actual sauna. And boy, this bitch hot. I've been in here an hour so far. This motherfucker got 136 degrees. I got 13 minutes left. I'm really trying to stay focused and keep talking to y'all to take my mind off this heat. My motherfucking head, <laughs> nigga, everything on fire. <laughs> Listen, that little spill I just went on, that was for y'all, but that was for me too. I'm trying to like psych myself out and stay disciplined and thug it as long as I said I was going to thug it. So, yeah, shit. Somebody asked me a question. I'm trying to forget this heat. This motherfucker hot, y'all. I'm, man, listen. Hey, y'all think I be sweating in that sauna suit? Nigga, I'm drenched right now. On another note, though, on another note, I got like seven more pounds to my goal. You feel me? I want to say shout out to me. Shout out to the people that helped me exercise. Shout out to the people that told me where to get my get my bike fixed because I ain't rode my bike in years. Shout out to that beautiful young lady who be whipping me up them alkaline meals and staying on my ass about my intake. And even when I even when we not in the same city, she on my line checking me on my bullshit and making sure I'm on point. Shout out to the young lady that taught me to like eat like I love myself. Shout out to her for like putting me on the recipes and showing me firsthand how to make alkaline meals from scratch. Because a nigga eight pounds from his goal. And it took me a whole motherfucking like 39 days. It didn't take me year, And I ain't knocking nobody. It didn't take me no years. It didn't take me no months. I literally started working out when Mega was born. Mega's birthday is April 16th. We're creeping up on the beginning of June. And at this point, I've dropped 24 pounds. You know, we ain't niggas. I'm scared of knives. We ain't doing no surgeries. We ain't doing no flat tummy tees. I ain't knocking nobody. We just doing work. We just disciplined right now. We turning down weed, we turning down pussy, we turning down the fun, and niggas is just locking in, making sure this video game on point, making sure my body on point, making sure I live super long so I can love on all these kids and keep teaching them and training them just to be gentle warriors, all that, you feel me? So, yeah, I, hey, I appreciate everybody for the encouragement, too. Y'all better stop gassing me in them comments, too. Oh, that boy, you look good, you done lost some weight, you looking golden, but hey, I ain't know. I already got a big head. Don't be gassing me. I don't need no extra gas. I'm going to be on more. Y'all know I be on bullshit. I'm going to be on more bullshit. You feel me? So, hey, I saw somebody ask, what, what is the name of the sauna suit? Go to Amazon. It's called, the brand is called BVVA. But they got the zip ups and the pullovers. That's the sauna suit. This company right here, I don't remember the name. I, I literally just bought this one last night. But yeah, y'all, I'm down 24 pounds in like probably like 39 days. And I ain't gonna lie, I would have been down more, but I had a, I travel back and forth. I spend like a week here, a week in Georgia. I go back and forth. So a lot of times the diet get thrown off for a day or two and I have to like recalibrate, get my shit back in order. Uh, what's the shawty name that helps you with the eating habits? Brown Kiss and Tail. I don't kiss and tell, bro. But if her and I have a personal relationship, it wouldn't be nothing. But I don't even kick my game like that to put people business out there. She might not want nobody to know that. You feel me? She been my guardian angel with this health shit. Miss Miss Moon, I appreciate you, love. <laughs> yeah, bro. She's a very private young lady. That a lot of people know, so I do my best to like protect her image and protect her identity. And we just, you know, nigga just magically lost weight. Man, y'all, this timer bullshit. And this shit say ten minutes. I should be on like seven. Burning the fuck up, man. God damn. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate it. Ferocious, you said I bought one of them portable sauna joints during the pandemic. Saved my life. I, I feel you, bro. This is my first time in it, but this motherfucker is effective for sure. Daddy Rich, appreciate you asking, bro. My mental has been extremely clear, bro. Um, 
I haven't been smoking as much or if at all. Um, uh, definitely been turning down a lot of pussy. So that has that has allowed me to uh to have a level of clarity that I typically wouldn't have. My distractions are on like zero right now. I'm either working out, working on business, coming up with plays for the children, or self-care. I'm going to tell you something else too, y'all. My self-care has has peaked at a different level. Shout out to that same young lady. But uh, self-care, y'all. Like, bro, I've been really big on my self-care, just taking time with myself. I gave some real shit. Like, this is a true story, bro. I be running around with literally like a million plus dollars in jewelry on with ashy knuckles. That's not okay. Feel me? To the bros, a lot of times we get so caught up in being the workhorse and then getting our shine on that we really forget to shine our actual skin. I know I ain't the only nigga. Nigga have a $2,000 outfit on with some ashy knees. I I don't have $2,000 outfits because I don't buy designer, but y'all know what I'm saying. Like, a nigga will keep his car in mint condition, teeth missing all out his mouth. Nigga got gingivitis. Nigga got dirty nail beds. That ain't me at all. I don't play by my nail beds. I, I'm super serious about having clean nails, but I'm just giving y'all the real. Like, we be fucking up like that. You feel me? We, we get so caught up in workhorse head honcho. You feel me? Like, we be so thirsty to get a moment of freedom that when we do get it, we forget the real freedom. Like, I got an hour just to love on myself. Nah, we gonna utilize that hour to go get dressed up and get compliments from other niggas who don't love themselves either. Fuck all that. Two, 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 you said, how do you do that when you have to provide? Bro, that's a good ass question. Bro, bro, really, it's it's just being intentional, bro, uh, and having a schedule. So, bro, you you know I get up early. I be up before everybody. Um, so, bro, that them, them be my hours. You know, I'm going to get up at 4 in the morning, and I'm going to have a mirror conversation. I'm going to go ride the bike. Like, bro, literally before anybody wake up in the crib, I done knocked out one and a half workouts, done knocked out some content, laughed with myself, been a big kid and made it back in. So a lot of times, bro, we gonna have to, bro, like, this shit is life changer. Cut an hour of sleep or go to bed an hour early so you can so you can rise an hour prior. Yeah, bro, you know, I be blasting the music. Yeah, bro, you know, you, you, you know I'm going to queue up that Yamaha piano. We're we going we gonna to wake up the right way. But, bro, just being intentional and having a schedule and just really, like, letting the people in my life know, like, hey, listen, between these moments and this hour, I ain't fucking with you. And it ain't nothing bad, but I'm just telling you straight up, like, I ain't fucking with you because I'm fucking with myself. I can't. I cannot give you the bulk of my morning like I used to, baby, because I forgot me. I be talking you off the ledge. Whole time I've been on that motherfucker with you, I just know how to suppress better than you do. This this is a true story of men and women. Y'all be saving niggas from killing themselves, and they not knowing you want to kill yourself too. You know, a lot of y'all be giving advice from a place of experience. But niggas just be so caught up in you giving them the game that they don't even take the time to think like, bro, how you even know that? How you know how to navigate this season? Damn, how you know what I'm feeling right now, bitch? Because I'm dying with you. But I got such a big heart, and I've been overly programmed to wrap my arms around everybody but myself that I'm literally going in internally self-destruct in front of all y'all. Y'all going to have y'all feet kicked up, living best lives. Where's the Kool-Aid? Where's the popsicles? Where's the drugs? Where's the dick? Where's the pussy? Niggas just having a ball. And meanwhile, like, you the half-dead workhorse. So, no, nah, bro, being intentional and telling niggas flat out, like, nah, I ain't doing that. Oh, you can't? No, nah, I can't do that for you no more. I'm in a season right now where if I don't take care of myself, bitch, I'm going to die on y'all. I don't want to do that. I don't want to die on me, and I don't want to die. Like, bro, bro, you bro, you around the family. You know, like, you know the people, the family alone, bro, who, like, I'm sure you ain't, you ain't, either, if that's D.A.E., y'all done sat back before and realized, like, all right, this person over here, power player. This person is it, da, da, da. But whatever the case is, D.G. just clean this shit up every time and make it all look perfect. So, no, nah, bro, for me, that's being intentional with the mothers of my children, my parents, my brothers, my my children telling all them, like, no, nah, man, fuck all that. Mm -mm. I, I can't do it. No, nah, I can't shake that for you. Why? Because I don't want to. I just genuinely don't want to. I've been there for you a million times. So, like, this season, I got to be there for me. And I ain't going to lie, y'all, we keep it real. Most of the niggas that we consistently be there for are bad investments, and I'm going to tell you why. Any nigga that you done helped get on his feet five times and he still ain't in a position where he could reciprocate some type of energy, fuck the money, some type of energy when you about to crash out and die, that nigga's a bad investment. Cut him loose. And you ain't gonna have nobody but to blame. You ain't gonna have nobody to blame but yourself when you do crash out. I, I tell you all the time, y'all, like, love makes us remove logic. You'll, you'll have a garbage-ass cousin that you will allow to continuously bring trash away 
out of the sake of, of family ties. Boy, fuck all that, nigga. I'm not dying for none of y'all. I got eight kids that didn't ask to be here. I can't do that for you, bro. Get the fuck on. So, yeah, y'all, like, being intentional, making them executive decisions, especially having them hard conversations. I got to holler at you about what? I know we usually hang, like, every day, but I think we need to limit that shit to one day a week right now. Because where I'm where I'm trying to get to, we not in alignment. And I'm realizing every time I get on the phone with you, we trauma bomb. Every time we in the streets, we spending money on bullshit. Every time we hanging out, we either discussing other niggas, discussing bullshit, and got to wake up to the same poor-ass existence the following morning. Nigga, I can't hang with you right now, bro. A lot of y'all day one niggas is genuinely your day one niggas. Y'all got the same buying power from day one. Y'all got the same mindset from day one. Y'all have the same arguments from day one. Y'all have the same circle and quality of living from day one. You need to go find your day fives. Find your day sevens. You feel me? Because they're probably going to align with you more for where you're at currently. Y'all, I know this to be true because I, I be living it. I really be evolving and trying to like pull people in my family with me based off our last names and our connection. But then I be realizing like, bro, where you headed? They can't go, bro. Just leave them. And if they want to fuck with you at a later date, bro, I promise you this, y'all. I've been an entrepreneur 11 years. Anybody that wants to be a part of your journey is going to find a way to insert themselves. It may take you consistently talking to them and pouring into them and building them up. But at some point, niggas going to find a way to insert themselves. The fear of losing you is going to override their laziness and their procrastination. And they're going to they gonna, they gonna rise to the fucking occasion. And the niggas that don't catch them later. And that's why I keep telling y'all. I ain't preaching perfection, though. Listen, focus up, get disciplined, get your bag, get yourself in a better position. And then and then when you can really afford to do nigga shit, call them. I don't be cutting people off, y'all. Everybody got seasons. So if you're not in alignment with where I'm at right now, I'm going to holler at you later. When I'm on nigga shit, we got the shrooms, we got the acid, we got the good shit rolling. We finna straight bullshit. We ain't got no prerogative for the weekend. Guess who I'm calling? My bullshitting ass niggas. I'm finna hit they line. Wait, where y'all boys at? Y'all want to get into some niggas? Well, I ain't going to lie. I don't have friends. That's not me per se, but where y'all at? Y'all want to do some bullshit against some nigga shit? Hell yeah, let's go. And then after that, we're going to part ways because I'm, I'm, I'm back in the business, man. I'm back on the grind. I'm back, I'm back on my self-mastery. I'm back on my discipline. So, yeah, y'all pay them dues, man. Pay them dues. When y'all be doing shit, just ask yourself, do you deserve it? And if you can say you genuinely deserve it, go for it. But if you be honest with yourself and you're like, I don't deserve this. I literally did not earn nothing I'm partaking in. It's merely another moment of instant gratification. I'm going I'm to have an instant high. And then I'm going to be back to feeling like shit once I wake up and realize my life is the same tomorrow. Stop fucking doing it. But other than that, y'all, I'm going to holler at y'all later. I'm going to come up out this motherfucking suit and my tripod right in front of me. So I'm sure I'm going to knock it over. Y'all have a dope ass Monday. Join the coaching program now because we probably got like 300 more spots for people that's going to get in free. And then as soon as that's over, y'all going right back to paying a couple hundred dollars to be in that coaching program like a lot of people already did. Click the link in the bio, join the coaching program. I'm going to see y'all on the other side.